While we're here today to preview an outlook of what trends will shape this year's hurricane season, it's crucial to remember that it only takes one storm to damage your home, neighborhood, and community. Preparedness is key to the resilience that we need, and now is the time to get ready for the upcoming hurricane season. Those remarks from Dr. Rick Spinrad of the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration as forecasters issue their forecast for the upcoming Atlantic hurricane season. Colorado State forecasters already called for an above another above average Atlantic hurricane season. Joining us now to talk about NOAA's hurricane season outlook is our colleague here, meteorologist Troy Bridges. And, you know, we talk about it. It's something that we don't look forward to every no. year, but we have our special coming up on June 1st to kick off the start of hurricane season, but it looks like it will be another active yeah. year. And it's so important for us to get out in front of this and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you hear us talk about the predictions and how, oh, no, we've got another active year. But we always say it just as he just said it. It only takes one storm mm -hmm. to make it a bad season. You could also, on the other side of it, have a whole bunch of storms one season and not have any of them impact Florida. So you never really know, but oftentimes we do have some impact from some of those storms, at least, even if it's not major impact. So we have to be prepared, and we're going to help you with that on June 1st. All right, so let's do a little bit of a comparison compared to last year versus the average. Let's show you the graphic here of uh, what the stats are. So their forecast right now, uh, Troy named storms 14 to 21, and you can see that average there. It's just near to above that average. Yeah, and last year, we got up to 21 named storms, even more than that the year before. In fact, 2020 was a record year with the number of named storms. We do expect from the official uh, you know, expectations or forecast here between 6 to 10 would be hurricanes and between 3 and 6 would be major hurricanes. Last year, we had four major hurricanes. So what can you say? And what can you say about the intensity of these storms and that La Nina effect as it's impacted, uh, you know, the climate change and those conditions impacting how these storms form and what they look like? Well, we know it only takes that one and we're likely to have a whole bunch out in the Atlantic. And so if one of those spins up and comes closer, it depends on the certain times of year as to how many impact us here in Florida. But we're likely to have a number out there to watch very closely. Yeah. And when they do these forecasts, they they put a couple of factors in place. The first one is whether it's a La Nina or El Nino or a neutral year, La Nina tends to kind of warm up our waters a little bit, also decreases our shear. So, you know, when hurricanes are, you know, strengthening across the Atlantic, you want waters to be cool, and mm -hmm. that's not the case th this year as it what And you what it want looks like. shear to kind of break those apart Correct. and kill them before they can strengthen. So when you don't have that shear or those upper-level winds, you have more of a chance for these storms to intensify and to be more. And so we have the names, too. Do you want to see the names? Yeah, let's look at the names. For this year, we have a graphic for that. And, you know, we talk often about which names. You know, we think of Matthew from years past, the M names. Mm -hmm. But you were talking earlier, Candace, about the I name. We, of yeah. course, know... That Ida. one storm, mm -hmm. we've got Ida that we talked about, but this year, Ian, will Ian be the one that we hate mm -hmm. the most? Yeah, well, it's, and uh, when it comes to retired names, if storms are retired off the, mm -hmm. off the list, this is uh, kind of a recycled list every six years, but if storms cause enough damage or deaths that, you know, you, reusing the name would be very insensitive, they would retire mm -hmm. the names, and as of now, it looks like the letter I tends to be uh, kind of the lead there. So I just Ian want to mention those... the name right before that. Hermine, don't email us if oh. you are, because we're recycling this name. It's mm -hmm. not Hermione. For all the people who mm. read Harry Potter, it is officially pronounced Hermine. So we're going to be here hearing that. I'm sure hopefully her mean will not be a major storm. But we had one more little graphic here. Yeah. Here's the good news, right, Candace? Yeah, no tropical development is expected within the next five days. Hurricane season officially kicks off June, June 1st, 1st. And we'll be here to keep you informed well in advance. Thanks, Troy. Mm -hmm. Well, one week from today marks the start of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Be sure to join us on June 1st for an extended edition of our newscast at 7. Our Pinpoint Weather Team will explain everything you need to know to prepare for the season ahead. And, and so many people are moving mm -hmm. to Central Florida, to Florida in general, and many people haven't encountered a hurricane season yet. Right. So it's and always good to review this. Yeah, and there's a lot of things, of course, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're a renter. I mean, we have a full list as well on, on clickorlando.com slash hurricanes. I like to call that our hurricane headquarters. Mm -hmm. Even a downloadable uh, supply list that so you can slowly start chipping away when when you see items possibly on sale when you're grocery shopping or you're at the hardware store um, it's good to kind of start you know getting those because it could rack up a, a couple oh yeah know, a lot of money uh, when if you start really looking at that list so click orlando.com slash hurricanes